Hello everybody and welcome back to The Invincible, yes! Very importantly there's some comic book um, strips that we need to catch up on. We also have a convoy to find and we are now at a point where we have found a stable and working, well, I think it's a transport vehicle, inside um, like a sort of a shield or dome or bubble. So we need to get to it. And we're going to continue now. So here's a little recap. Okay, while searching the convoy's vehicles, Yasna discovers that fruits can fly and generate an, an, an electromagnetic ow, field. The Alliance called them flies. Interesting. Okay, so in the last video, just to catch up, yeah, maybe that's what was coming off the the metal um, bushes. You can see the little sort of pollinating leaves or, or flies maybe if, if that's what they are. Which is interesting. And also along the way as well we've discovered the death of many Alliance personnel and Rover, a couple of other transports that have been you know, either destroyed or acid um, corroded by these bushes. What was the description? Like bullet holes. So there'll be corrosion there. So yeah, we want to find this colony. Uh, convoy, even. Same thing. That's a go. Uh, words. Alright, let's see where we are. Right, this is where we are. Okay, is everything going to load up nicely? Because uh, it had a bit of had a bit of trouble loading in properly. Well, not really. It's the frame size is sort of kaplunk, and that's it. First of all, comic strip update. Our update is thus. <clears throat> the previously inactive antimat turns on and destroys a robot carrying jars of fruits. Or flies. However, the deadly machine ignores Yasna and shuts down again for some strange and unknown reason. Discounted her as an enemy if you uh, caught up and saw on those slides that we looked at. While searching the convoy's vehicles, Yasna discovers that fruits can fly and generate an electromagnetic field, the iron school. Flies. We read that bit first of all. So that's the bit that we're now caught up on. Let's just see if there's anything else. There is. Interesting. Novik lies about Dr. Gorski's death in order to convince Yasna to leave the Metal City. Ah, interesting. This Novak guy is definitely, definitely holding something back. He wants us to sort of leave certain areas. If we if we move into those areas, he's like, ooh, how did you get there? That sort of thing. And why are you there? Please go away. It makes me think. I wonder if he's doing the sort of dirty behind um, Yasna. Ooh, we've got something here. Field-based archives. The USCA Condor, one of the Cosmo Soldier Alliance flagships, makes an emergency landing on Regis 3. During the prolonged repair, part of the crew set out to scout the planet. Right. Okay. Now, is this us? No, this is the Alliance. Okay. The Alliance men carry mysterious samples out of the tunnel. That would be the fruits. Unexpectedly, unexpectedly, the Alliance machines turn against their own masters. But why? Somebody else must be in control. Or it's these fruit flies. I'm wondering if Novak is also partly responsible for this. Because that machine turned on Yasna but never fired. Yet everybody else seems to have perished thus far. So this is where we are now. Okay. So we're cutting across. We found gap underneath the rock faces um, to get to this particular transport which is still active yeah, we need to find out what secrets it's holding mm. we've got to get there first I could run I am running um ah Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. 
Earth's registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. True, we've got another comic book entry. We'll get to that shortly. We'll just build up the comic strips as we go. Oh, oh shit, it's taking a picture of us. I keep thinking that's a, a gun underneath. Come here, little proby. It's not, oh, I think it's a camera. Work. It flew away. Is it scared of you too? Hasn't got that far. I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down unless I find a working controller. Yeah, I did see something. Oh, there's, there's a couple of contacts. I think one of them's got to be the probe, I think. Yeah, we've got contact here. Oh, oh that. Mm. Yeah, what do we think about antimatter weapons? Should they be banned? I don't think we've got that far to. Oh, what? Actually, no, I think we have. We've got inside the field. Ah. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. Oh, thank God for that. I suggest yeah, the following. That's what it was. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. Right. You'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. Right. So first, the Inergo bot. Turning off the force field, then transporter. Departure. All clear? Yes, Chef. All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Huh? Oh dear. Sideways. Oh, it's all good. So is the probe still with you? It certainly is. Yep, yeah, it's here. Uh, now it's following me. Hello. Where are you going? Is there anything down here or does that lead me back on to... Yeah, it just leads me back on. Oh... Oh god, there's loads of contacts. Okay, one of them's a probe. And is the... Oh, is the other one this? I'm getting... Closer, I think it might be. Yeah. Okay, so we have to disable this. What do you call it? Ergo something. Uh, the journal update, let's just see. Uh, we're making good progress here. We've got one person to mark off, we've got one vehicle to find, and we've got two robots to find. And we are here. Very extensive, okay. A lot of flashy flashies. Um, okay. What did that do? The field is no longer a problem. Turned it off, apparently. Um, Disabled. Can I turn it back on? Why? Oh, wait. Perfect. All that's left is to get the flies out of this. Uh, just as I thought. The equipment's still active, but... Everyone here is dead. There, I'm but... climbing onto the hovering transporter. Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. really help our people, Astrogator. It will, I'm sure. Mm. So, what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? Uh, yeah, sure. I got lost for a moment there because of the flies. Ah. You'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course, I'm on it. Although, first... I like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Uh, okay, so the samples are already on board. Okay. 
That better not be broken. On in. Hello. Oh yeah. Wow. Ooh. I must admit. They look amazing. They remind me of um Jasna. What have you done? I I'm watching them. Nothing more. Don't worry, sir. What? You are. Just look outside, Doctor. See for yourself. Oh, um, oh, shit. Um, if to. Uh, quick then. I, I can't leave. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. Uh, which way? Oh, damn. Oh, it's cutscene mode. Um. That's a problem. Um it can be gigantic. Uh, um, uh, um uh okay. Um oh, I blacked out. Oh crikey. But they're but they're on board. Am I moving? I'm moving. Very quickly, I must add. Good one. Shizen Poopin. Did they damage the transport? Is that what they did to the other transports? Looks beautiful though. Am I moving? No. Okay. I'm... Hello? Game? Oh. What? Wait a minute. Hello. Dragonfly. I, I fell. Everything's How did I get back here? Oh. Uh. They're alive. These bushes. Something's flying out of them. Weird. It's those creatures. So I've gone back. Comic update. I think what I do with the comic strips, I'll review them at the end of each episode. I need to find out where the hell I am. Fuck! The same thing over and over again! No wonder we finally ran out of luck. Too much of this damn curiosity. I, I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. I must see how many times already. Where am I? Last time ever, I should apologize for what? It's not like I'm looking for problems where there aren't any. The task is extremely difficult. Yes, it is. At least we learnt the truth about this planet and the inorganic beings that uh -huh. inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure Koval. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. Mm. It's Positive a large thinking. base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Oh. Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's the latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. I wonder. We need to find it. There it is. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Let's 
something here. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker. No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Oh. Where did they go? Oh, shit. Sure. Uh. We lost them. Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Uh-oh. Are you sure? Is my, what did is they my brain like? being affa affected? One was wearing an Alliance suit. A green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor. Oh, just a moment ago, my consciousness was over the ocean. I saw a big black cloud that appeared out of nowhere. Which I then forgot. And now these ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The sight of them was so vivid. <laughs> Just for a moment. I've been looking for someone for so long. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. Definitely. I'm going. Okay. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? <laughs> Shitty, but I'll live. Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. Uh, but at least... Yes? I'm alive. Ah, do we go down here? Yes. I met the clan before. I know the cause of my memory loss. So probably the same thing. I'll go to the clan. You no, know what, sir? It was these flies from the very beginning. What do you mean? My accident, for example. It's true. I hurt myself badly back then. Damaged a radio. But that's not why I lost my memory. Soon after, flies flew from the bushes. There too. They subjected me to an electromagnetic field. Moreover, I believe the same thing happened to our people in the camp. To the antimat in those tunnels. And to the whole convoy. Yes. Hmm. Right, which way do I need to. Oh, God, that's dark. Um, ah, the balloon is down here, so I need to. Yep. I think I just need to go down. Okay, comics been updated again. Okay, let's get that balloon because we need information. I'm getting close to this fallen balloon. Ah. <laughs> ah. What's so funny? Uh, oh, nothing, sir. It's just in my mind it sounded like like the title of some Renaissance painting. The fallen balloon of Regis. Uh. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, have you gone slightly mad? Okay, this looks retrievable. I found the recorder. Bingo. The fallen recorder of Regis. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Uh, press that red button, and out come the recording bits. From the top. Let's see. The 25th day of the mission. Morning. Okay. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Interesting. Oh, there were... Oh, I've moved. Oh, I didn't know I could do... Oh, I can move away. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, let's get some more light in this. Ah, that's better. Okay, so no enemies recorded. Huh. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Hmm. Huh. 
The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Okay. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. New vehicles. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square. Next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Oh. oh they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. Well, that's a possibility. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. That's open. Oh. It captured the moment I entered the base. Ah. And it's empty again. No one knows something here. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait. You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. Yes. I I'm not crazy. But who? I saw Whom? him. I never suggested you were. Then nevertheless, I apologize. Shouldn't have doubted your words, Jasna. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? Let's find out. I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Ah, okay. So... Pretty much... Is that that far away from the rover? Bloody hell. Okay. So it moved on, on its own motion. Hmm. That does... Oh, God, he has no... You're out of breath. It does seem further away. I... That's weird. Okay. You know, Doctor, decades of space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. I think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. Whoa. Why do you insist on seeking them out? Hmm. Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I, I can't believe otherwise. All my efforts would be meaningless. I don't know whether to envy you or to worry even more. So we're going the wrong way. There's a probe. Oh, Hello. The probe again. Ah, handy. Is it right near the base, within range of the control center? Yes. Uh, affirmative. Okay, I gotta follow it. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, Game. what Stop. would it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. Oh, I see. So... I wonder if the probe has landed. I could be wrong. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Everybody out. You're still offline, okay. 
Cool, what have you got for us? Oh, no, hang on. Something... I could have spent countless days in this base and still not discovered their hideout. And it's right above my head. All I needed to do was look up. So this means there's a view of the entire base from up there. I'll confirm when I get there. But I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. Oh, yeah. Uh, how do I get across? Oh, just like that. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. It was to my right all this time. Left. Can I? Oh, hang on. Yep. It's like there's a way out. Let's put the tracker away. Are we finally going to see someone? What's saved? Oh. Mm. The Alliance crew member. Pretty sure if there's someone there, they would have heard us by now, and they would have seen us anyway. I have to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route. <sighs> now nah, we can climb this. Oh, stop blacking out. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, is this me doing this, or is this a cutscene? <sighs> Oh, yes, I'm, uh, I'm all right. She's climbing on her own. She's climbing on her own. Okay. Right. It's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you. With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will. I will find the man. Okay, he's trying to stop her. It sounds like from getting to this point. So Have I, you? He knows. I made the climb worth it already. Mm -hmm. So you're on top. Yes. Activity within radius. Bloody I nice. have no beeps. I can't. Make... I see no dots. <laughs> Delay that. Oh. Ow. What? Um. Him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. Problem. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yasna, what is it? Oh. Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me. Bollocks. He's looking for others. He's... <laughs> you. What have you done? Well, who the hell are you? Shit! He found you too. Why? And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. Uh, don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I don't know what you're blaming me for. Put the gun Get down. Uh. So much for talking. Yes, now don't provoke him. If you would just listen to me for one moment. I said get up. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, yes, no, he's the one with the gun. Oh, oh, okay. All right. I'm being pushed back here. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. <laughs> oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? A... Just keep your mouth shut for your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. I have a theory. I think Nervik's working with the Alliance. I think he might have some sort of control as well. Oh, that's interesting. Robots uh, offline. Yeah, yeah, wait. right. I'm, oh. Don't move. Sure. You didn't even spare the Arctan. Got some nerve to unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. Oh. 
You're a scientist, just like me. Jasper, what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. Fuck. I'm a technician, smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Huh. Oh, I see man. you're no longer pretending. Listen, you'll stand before the Astrogator or the entire council. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, no. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he's then you'll be alone serious. too. There has to be a way. I don't know what will happen to me. Huh? What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's a talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer with a short yes or no. Alright. Is there anyone else? Uh -huh. So he's not alone. Are others close by? Start, damn it. Uh -huh. He said, Why can't I hear any other people? Superiors. No. -uh. Hang on. There's no one else after all. Or maybe just not people. When it rains, it pours, huh? Uh huh. That's surprising. Do you have some alien there? <laughs> of course not. No. -uh. Got it, of course not. That's <laughs> why. I'm betting on a humanoid robot. Uh-huh. The electrobots have already been phased out. So it must be one of the Arctans. A model with a small head pressed into the body. One of those so-called porters. Theoretically harmless. But due to its tremendous strength and potential reprogramming, you best be careful around it. Come on. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Yes. Uh-huh. Does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Oh, you just had... Legs? Torso? Uh-huh. It's about his torso? Mm -mm. Must have misheard. Uh -huh. Let's try again. Does it concern... Legs? Uh -huh. Oh, so it's his legs. Uh -huh. Still no. <laughs> okay. This won't work. This man has something very specific about him, but I may never know what. Damn. It works. Let's go. Break time's oh, over. Oh, I should have. I, I should have waited happen. there. Damn. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. You could ask. Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. No, no, no. I'm, so I'm I asking didn't expect you to have a second one here. Do I look yes, scared? Really? Really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow I don't no. expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my colleagues. Yes, no, I'm losing you. Oh, the shit. The signal is getting weaker. Uh -oh. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Save me. Help! Get me out what of here! What the hell? I'm sorry. I'll do anything. My mistake. I should have checked it. Damn it. Oh. Get in. Shit. I don't want to get in there. Come on. Get in. Novik. No, he's. Oh, he's he's taking the um. Communicator plug out. Uh, so, why did I shout for help? What was that going to do? I should have buttoned it. But if communication is going to be out under here anyway, then I'll need to find something bigger to communicate with or on. Can I no, just follow the wire. This looks interesting. Sit here. I don't dare move. Uh, sure. I have Let's something. Skip this situation. Can I actually move? <gasps> Another person. Um, 
glad to see you guys too. What about our friend? Still cranky? I've always thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. By I'll the, pass uh, for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Radiation. There's something from the stupid. My friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something to have strength. Ah, oh, gee. Don't do that. Can I it's do? It's tasty. Can I do something? Eat. Oh, see, not looking. Come on. Eat. Right there to. Did you like it? Communicate. Very nice. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Wow. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. Can I get and the whole left? convoy crew. No. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. Oh, that's a spoon. So I wonder much. that Strap you. I'll be broadcasting. And you, mind your own business. Well, he does have the finger on the trigger, so. I don't think he's afraid. Hello, Bridge. What? Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission, 1300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Yeah, hey, Milos. Hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. I doubt that she's alone, but I didn't see anyone else. Oh. Ah. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. My name's Yasna. Mm, not that I'm asking. Well, now you know. You're Rohitra, right? <clears throat> I work as an astrobiologist. Brother is a spy. Don't eavesdrop on me, Yasna. Don't talk to me. Uh, no, I just wanted name. to ask. Don't Thanks. ask. <laughs> uh, so what now? Uh, talk to the wall? <laughs> I'm not prohibiting you from doing that. Uh. Yet. Uh, okay. Do you have air filters here? <sighs> Did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. 
These tanks are a temporary solution. There's something there. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y oh. You named them that yourself. Can. I mean, the Alliance did. Okay. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. He's increased. You've been camping here long? Rude. Uh, wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah. So? It doesn't make any sense. Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? Ah. The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? Destroying so this planet, nothing more. We were supposed to find out. Um, I'm no, from the Dragonfly, a small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, it should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that... Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. Not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Oh, damn, I missed the can. Okay. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Huh. Oh, I'm moving. Ah. Here. Oh, terrible. <laughs> I think there was one in there. Oh, lambs. That's a good brand. <laughs> Koval always smoked them. They were the chap who wrote the book. Huh. That's right, because we picked up a cigarette box earlier on. Way into the first episode of this game. And I think there was one left. Or there was one fresh one on the ground. And we put that in the box. Okay. We could have ignored that. So tell that. me why you came here. Well, we're not lying. I'm sorry, but I wasn't lying. We're just scientists who've had awful luck. We didn't know the Alliance was here until we stumbled upon... Our intelligence, your intelligence. Our orders, yeah, your orders. It's all gone to hell, Rehitra. Now we need to focus on the people. I know what's wrong with them. Should I expect them here? Your people? I'm the only one left on the surface. The Astrogator stays in the orbiting Dragonfly, and there's no contact with the rest. If you lie, you only harm them. Several dozen of our men set off with Milos to Condor. If they find more Commonwealth spies, they may be less sympathetic than I am. Interesting. Okay, I'm not if gonna they returned to the ship, why did you stay? I'm looking for others who may have survived. Oh, how many of you were affected? A fair few, right? Almost all of them. I, I don't want to talk about it. The last time. I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. Local, but treated. Uh, Go ahead. You must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Shit. Did I didn't see? Did he drink something out of it? Oh no, I don't know. He says it's treated. I'll take the risk. Thank you. He could be lying. It oh, I might, needed that. It might not be treated. Me too. I've been silent for nearly two whole seconds. <laughs> Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots. That your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. Maybe, yeah real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind. 
wash away all memories. That sounds... Hence the stupor. Can you prove it somehow? I could, if you released me. Nice try. <laughs> we'll do as follows. Arc 10 will watch over you, and I'll keep an eye out for Milos. As soon as he returns with help, you will show us this cloud. Arc 10, come to me. Supervisory procedure. One person, a woman. No Alliance ID. Targeted, I confirm. Should I start the surveillance? Yes, guard our guest. Oh, great. <laughs> ah, another comic book strip unlocked. Again, we'll touch upon those at the end of the episode. Oh, there's a natural save. Okay. Oh, my neck. All right, okay. So we've had a bit of a rest. Oh, lights are on now. Okay. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Okay, okay. So. Uh, I've done that too early because we need to look at the uh, comic book strips. Um, so here we go. Right. Let's stop at the top. Okay. Anything new up here? Yes. Okay, Yasna regains consciousness, consciousness from her fall and sees a cloud of metal flies. Yes, okay. I miss reading comics. I used to read something called, was it 2000 AD? Maybe with Judge Dredd and something else. Okay, more convoy. Ah, we're skipping bits here. Okay. Right, Yasna finds an active alliance probe which from then on accompanies her on her further journey. That's it. In one of the transporters, Yasna discovers containers with flies. Wanting to see how they work, she inadvertently lures a huge swarm of microbots. I wonder if we could have avoided that. We could have just left them in the case and we could have carried on. Interesting. While escaping, Yasna is knocked unconscious. But memories of her first encounter with the cloud come back to her. Interesting. Okay. So, can these flies give back memories or access further parts of the brain that will reactivate those memories and then deactivate, I wonder? Hmm. Yasna notices the silhouettes of living people near the balloon. Even though Novik doesn't believe her, Yasna goes there. I wonder if that's um, the chap who we've just been talking to and possibly the robot, maybe? I don't know. After analysing the balloon logs, Yasna confirms the presence of humans in the area. She also discovers the potential location of the hideout. Survivors, here we go. Yasna meets an armed man who takes her prisoner. Also, why is he more clean-shaven than the other two? Probably because his mind's still intact, maybe. There have to be multiple reasons. The stranger leads Yasna to his hideout, where she meets two other men in a state of deep stupor. Both fell victim to the cloud. Yasna provokes a rock. Rahitra, is that right? To talk to her. But she fails to convince him of her innocence. He remains distrustful and vigilant. Yeah, I wonder if we could have convinced him otherwise. Interesting. Hmm. Well, okay. That's the end of the comic strip. So, and that's the end of this particular episode. This is getting really good now. We've found people. Ooh. What's going to happen now? We need to make a re-established contact with Novik. We might have a chance in the next episode. Because I think... Uh, what was his name? Rahitra? is sleeping. But that robot next to us is on... Mm, surveillance duty. So there we are. Right. We'll pick this up in the next episode. So thank you very much. Uh, past, present and future watchers for watching remember to subscribe like comment and we've got to keep those watch hours up now um to meet uh, the media milestone for partnership and then primary 
milestone for uh, the full partnership there. So that's it. Thank you once again for watching. Cheerio.